The 15th annual Festival of Science and Engineering Expo kicked off today at Petco Park. They were empowering young minds to follow careers in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. In tonight's Innovate 8, CBS 8's Ariana Cohen stopped by the interactive event to show us how it is bigger than ever this year. Expo Day is back at Petco Park for the first time since 2020. There's dozens of hands-on experiments. Check out this robot named Viper that was made by local high school students. Reptiles, science experiments, robots, and more. Rockets, robots, reptiles, explosions. There's all kinds of cool things. You're making slime, you're grabbing DNA, uh, riding electric bikes, listening to our performances by our rapping mathematicians. Everything's here. It's an amazing day. Families and children enjoyed more than 100 exhibits at the 15th annual San Diego Festival of Science and Engineering. The goal of the free event at Petco Park is to teach students more about STEAM science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. These three Magnolia Science Academy students showed me their experiment. The chemical reaction of turning liquid into CO2 to make gas to, and showing how you can shoot it out by engineering. Check out the Curiosity Cube, a shipping container turned into an interactive mobile science lab. These Del Norte High School students built this robot from scratch in just six weeks, proving that these experimental activities can be future career paths for students. So when we do get into the real world, like after college, um, when we go into actual engineering fields, we have that experience and it just is an opportunity for us to um, explore our passions and interests. As high schoolers, it's really important to get this experience at a young age so we can apply it later on in life. The event inspires young explorers, painters, and thinkers to one day change the world. You can change the world, so just to expand your knowledge, and when you expand your knowledge, you can expand your community's knowledge and you have the power to change the world. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8. My favorite part of that is that the kids are touching things yes. and figuring out how science actually works, yes. you know, not just staring at a teacher in front of a class. There you go. A lot of kids are kinetic learners. That means they yeah. have to touch things to figure it out. I was just talking with uh, some of our producers. We were some of the kids that like science stuff yes. or, or science gifts. Like I think I got a telescope and a Fun. microscope one year for Christmas. Some of my best gifts ever. Thank you, Mom. And, of course, you know, you got to get the volcano going and the big eruptions and <laughs> all that fun. We just add baking soda with that one. <laughs>